turn the water on and go? What? Well, we start, sorry, uh, just start with uh, the load in, really. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of base uh, material to kind of set up for the rink. And then it's just truck after truck. I think it's all building the rink first. And then the ice plant is kind of, you know, obviously where all the electronic and technology comes from to pipe the, uh, the cold water in. What's the mystique of the Winter Classic? Why would people want to pay good money to sit out in the cold and watch a hockey game? Because it's just a tremendous celebration of the sport of hockey and of just sports generally. It, it really goes beyond just one game. It's sort of a, a festival of hockey and sports and a combination in this case with uh, Cardinals baseball um, and kind of bringing a city together around that. Can you relate to this specific, specifically in terms of growing up in Minnesota playing outdoor like this? I am old enough that that's what I did for the first many years that I that I played hockey. Um, you know, I remember standing in the you know in, two, in a foot of snow between between shifts. So yeah, I mean that's what we did you know hour after hour growing up in Minnesota. Have you been to a Winter Classics? Yes, I have. It was, was it was spectacular. It's just a tremendous event. I mean, it really is. And they're all different. I mean, I was at the one at Wrigley, and the, you know, which was a cool winter setting. You know, the one in L.A., they had beach volleyball on the sideline. It, it's just, you know, it's something that reflects the city, uh, but it still celebrates the, the sport of hockey. When you guys were first building the stadium, did you envision, I know you talked about concerts Why and things like that. Why didn't you build in but... the rink? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We probably should have thought about that. Uh, we de definitely wanted to do a lot of different things. We obviously couldn't predict how many uh, different things we were able to do. Uh, but when you think about it, you know, you've got concerts, soccer, now hockey, we've had football. Um, you know, the versatility of a building like this is pretty incredible. And particularly now with the way uh, technology is and the way other markets have been able to do the same thing, there's, there's processes that are pretty standard now for, for example, bringing a rink in. So you'll see it in the load-in. It's pretty amazing how the NHL has essentially figured this process out and been able to adapt to different different types of venues. How does this affect the baseball grass? Because it's not like the grass seed down when this is over. How does that affect Well, that? as you can see out there, there isn't any grass there anyway right now. So um, it's a, um, we took out our field this off season and built up to this, uh, we had to redo some drainage, built all the way up to the sand base. And so it's just ready for sod right now. And so we're just gonna do the hockey and then early, uh, late February, early March, we'll, we'll put in the sod and be ready to go in April. Tom, you've known for months you're gonna host this game, but now that the truck is here and we're all standing outside of Bush Stadium, the reality kind of starting to set in? It, it is. It's, it's like kids and you start to see the Christmas decorations go up and um, it, it's getting closer every day. So it's, uh, you know, the, the, the Blues offices are, are a buzz and, you know, I think a lot of our fans are feeling the same way. How are you accommodating the fan experience for how cold it might be? It might be as cold as today. Will there be hot cocoa or coffee or blankets? What should the fan be prepared for? Well, I think we're prepared for anything. Obviously, if it's a day like today, we'll be rolling out the hot chocolate. And, um, you know, we, we've winterized uh, any bathrooms that were drafty. And um, obviously, we've got interior spaces. But I think, you know, it's like um, I think fans should expect football weather, if that makes sense. You know, you see it out this, this time of year. You just got to come prepared and ready to go no matter what the weather.